Hey, it's your Open Source Advocate, and I'm back with a kind of mini tidbit for you this week. So, I love open source, and I love cool software, and sometimes somebody just comes up with something that makes me go, wow, that was just, that was so cool, I don't know what to do with it, honestly. Um, so, I saw this several years ago, um, just kind of browsing around and looking at things, and um, I came across it, I think it was on a, um, what was the social thing for Google, um, anyways, it was, it was the, the Google Facebook competitor, um, I was on there and scrolling through and I saw a post about this, I think is where it was, and it was basically a developer who was on a long flight, as I recall, and he decided that he was just going to crack open his, uh, Ubuntu-based Linux laptop and create something, so, he basically made this application called Hollywood, so if you've never seen this, it's really awesome, uh, basically, you just give it some simple uh, commands and it makes your screen look like something you would see in a Hollywood TV show or movie where they're doing hacking or the FBI is fighting hacking or they're, you know, doing whatever. And it's basically just a bunch of different little applications that you can run in the terminal and it auto splits up your terminal and makes it look good. You can kind of see it moving here on the screen so you can get an idea of what it looks like, but it doesn't always get configured this way. It can be configured different ways and you can see different things. So as you scroll down through the website here and I'll put this in the show description, you can see kind of what the capabilities are here with Hollywood itself. Um, and then if you really want to go get something, they have a video that you can just get from YouTube and put it in full screen and let it run. If you would rather just run the GIF, you can actually go just get a GIF and let it run. But if you're a little more like me, you might actually want to install it. So it's really simple. And basically, I've got the help file up here already. It's already installed, but I'll go through the process anyways for you. So... I'm going to go with uh, sudo apt install Hollywood. And of course, it'll ask for your super user password. And it's going to tell me, oh, it can't find it. I think it's lowercase h. I probably misspelled that. Let's see. Yeah, so it's already installed on my machine, but if you just do this command right here um, sudo apt install Hollywood with a lowercase h and all lowercase. It's going to go out and grab that from the repositories and install it on your system. Once you've got it installed, you just start it up with the Hollywood command. And there's a few little um, things that you can do with it uh, besides just running the Hollywood command. So we'll go through that. Hollywood, it, this is just what it looks like when you do Hollywood. And it just kind of goes crazy. And of course, I've got this running in a tiny terminal right now. But if you put it in full screen, of course, you would see a much bigger version of what's going on here. Um, so I'm going to control C out of this. And I actually have to hit control C a couple of times because it doesn't like to die. Um, because it does start up a lot of processes at once. So I'm going to clear that. And you can see I've even got like extra stuff left here at the bottom because it puts you into a slightly different shell. Um, it uses the Biobu shell, I believe is how you pronounce it. Biobu or Biobu. Um, so, or Biubo, I don't know. Uh, at any rate, you can find all that information here on the website. But if you do Man Hollywood, you can see it's got a couple of switches here that will actually tell you what all you can do. So if we kind of drag that out a bit. So Hollywood will just fill the screen with stuff, and then you can say dash S for the number of splits that you want. So you can either use dash S or dash dash splits, and then give it a number. And then you can also tell it the delay that you want. So every so often, and I think it's default 10 seconds, I think it says that somewhere. Um, yeah, default 10 seconds. Uh, so every 10 seconds, it'll kind of rearrange the split of the screen and change up what things it might be running. So um, that, that kind of happens every once in a while too. So if you want that to go longer, you can change that to whatever you want. Just put in the number of seconds with a you know hyphen D or dash dash delay in front of it. And then if you want sound, you can even put sound behind it. Um, I don't remember what it plays, but if you do dash dash sound, it will, it will start playing some kind of music as well. So that's really all there is to the Hollywood uh, command or Hollywood application. But let's, uh, let's just quit out of this. And I'm just going to do exit one time, and you see the bottom part of the uh, terminal cleared out there because I actually exited out of that Biobu shell. Um, so we'll clear it, and I'll put it into uh, full screen mode here. Um, and we'll do Hollywood again. And this time I'll say split um, 
five, I don't know, and dash, dash, delay. We'll do 20 seconds, and we'll just kind of let that run. They didn't like what I put. Oh, splits, not split. Okay. So I didn't put an S on my... Nope, still doesn't like that. I don't know what I typed wrong, but it's not liking something that I'm typing. Let's see. Let's just do it this way. Dash S and dash D. There we go. Okay, so uh, don't use the double hyphen uh, catches potentially, but here you go. So it splits up the screen. You can see that it's just kind of going crazy. And of course, anybody who's non-technical or doesn't know anything about Linux might walk behind you and think, oh my gosh, look at all the stuff that they've got going. And you can see there it kind of reset after about 20 seconds, which is what we wanted. And it resplits and redoes everything that's going on. Um, it's just something fun. It's nothing that, do, that really does anything. It does try to be nice to your system processes. It, it tries to make sure that it's very low on scheduling priority so it doesn't kill your system if you've got other things running in the background. So if nothing else, this could, could be kind of a cool little screensaver, I guess you'd say, if you're going to walk away from your desk or anything like that. So, um, But there you go. This is, this is what you would get in a Hollywood TV series where they're talking about, oh my gosh, look at all this traffic. Look at all this stuff that's going on. Look at what they're doing. You know, Try to stop the hack. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's really cool. I think it's a fun project. I think this was really awesome. And, and you can actually go out and get the source code. You could modify this. You could add to it, uh, supplement it so it's out there. It's open source, and it's really great. hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, thanks. If you liked it, like, subscribe, and I'll have more uh, longer videos later.